Oh. I know you know Herb and I, I know you in touch with his homie, so I want you to just tell him, like, we don't, I don't want no trouble. You feel me? Dipping in business, we ain't got no business dipping in, little bro. Not ready, though, little bro. You stay in your lane. Never copped out to no n in my life. I told him, let's take it there. Take it wherever you want to take it. I'm do what I want in the city. I'm going to bring Grant into the city, though, and show y'all how to really do the interview, like, and not die a day after. You feel me? Like, oh, my God. That boy Kwani on the road. What he said? What's good, YouTube? Get that money. Coming back oh. y'all with another video. Now today we got Lil Dirk artist who go by Chucky trolling OT7 Kwani for this and YBC duel. So let's get right into it. All right. So it started after one of G Herbo's friends, who goes by No Limit Mainski, randomly made a post five days ago showing Kwani spam messaging him inside of his DMs. On top, he wrote, this be the whole new generation of pill heads and fake lean drinkers crying out for a big homie or someone like me to stamp them in the streets. But whole time, this street stuff is all made up. Little boy better be safe. Pressure busts pipes. Mm. The fudge he ever wanted me to say, keep working. <laughs> One day later, Philly drill rapper YBC Duel unfortunately passed away after being targeted in a broad day drive-by shooting. After finding out the news, Kwani would make a post dissing Duel, writing, I was going to ask bro why he dissed me inside of them interviews, but I forgot he checked. Come on, man. God show. Come on, man. God show. About six months ago, YBC Duel made a video digging up a grave and screaming, Where are you, Kwani? Many fans speculated that he was talking lie, about fellow Philly rapper OT7 Kwani. So he later cleared it up on No Jumper, saying that he wasn't talking about that Kwani and telling Adam no one from both sides touched one another. Man, I ain't Kwani in them names. He ain't my up. Okay. No, I ain't talking about Kwani. Cause that, well, but people get that confused because they thought that that video, you digging up the grave or whatever, no, was about him. I'm digging up his grave if he alive. Stupid. Um, exactly, yeah. Oh, he won't no, even talk about, he won't even talk about Kwani. Touch oh, nobody in their camp. Nobody in their camp touch nobody in our camp. We ain't got nothing going on. Um, ain't, we ain't beefing. You know, but everybody keep trying to say I'm beefing with Kwani. I ain't beefing with Kwani. I don't even know him. Okay. I was just trying to think of who it could be because, you know, Skrilla was kind of unloading him on him on the interview but yeah, i'm sure that's some other oh he went crazy money <laughs> <laughs> yeah he wouldn't let it go he kept he kept coming back to it <laughs> that's pretty pretty funny after seeing that Kwani was dissing duel lil dirk's artist who goes by chucky who was also tied in with ybc and skrilla started to repost dms of a dude named big op and Kwani. on top of the post he wrote Tell this fan but ninja to get out of my DMs. Steady following and unfollowing me, doing little weird stuff. Steady saying that he's not on no internet stuff, though. Stay safe, Goofy. You did it, Jim and Judy. You made it to the finish line. All those years. Wait, go back, though. Wait, hold on. It's a... Who, who was that? I can't really see. I think that's Kwani. He said, tell all the rack. Pop out on the 25th for me, babe. I got you. He said, you in Miami. I called you the other day. He said, go to sleep? <laughs> for what, bro? Following me, doing little weird stuff. Steady saying that he's not on no internet stuff, though. Stay safe, Goofy. From now on, I am exposing all of you fake gangster rappers. Lil boys ain't savage for real. Kwani responded saying, y'all ninjas are unsending messages, clout chasing. Oh, you ninjas are fans trying to get some motion. Keep unsending messages trying to make me look away. Mm. Y'all ninjas only play internet games. You ain't never gone see ninjas lay a hand on me in person. Mm. It's always on IG and interviews that isn't gangster at all. I don't go on any interviews and speak on you ninjas. I leave it where it's at. I wasn't even going to do this, but ninjas getting the wrong ideas and running with false information. Mm. I am rich as poop. Ninjas mad that they are broke and their homies are dying every other day. Come on, man. Damn. An hour later.
later, No Limit Mainski made another post showing more DMs of him and Kwani, writing on top. You know damn well we're nowhere near bro. Kwani said, man, what you want? Ducking me like I'm your hoe, man. I cut it out. I'm just checking on you, brother. You be careful, ma. Uh, bro, what's up? What's your number? You damn every, damn near every man no sinner. Keep talking. We're gonna buy your catalog. I was going to leave you alone, Lil Bro, but you've been DMing damn near every male I know sounding like a Lil Mama. But I guess Drench, we the fans of you. Tell the truth, QQ. Then he posted a video explaining the situation, saying, One of the Hellstar owners stole something and you called like you were going to do something. I don't know why, but you did, and now we're here. Stuff like this is fun, so I am playing along with your boys. Hey, little bro, you know we've been in this music so long, little bro. We don't game, man. We at tables with these real people, folks. Yo, to look up, you will have your catalog, bro. Like like Michael Jackson, bro. Eminem, don't count, shorty. Yo, this ain't got half of what a want to get, shorty. We work for this, shorty. You a little boy, little bro. You know what happened, little bro. We was having a conversation. You got in your feelings. Talking about you ain't little bro. I asked your, your age. You 26, little bro. Then you dipping it. I'm 29, little bro. You dipping in business. You ain't got no business to dip in, little bro. You had to man up to that. Not ready though, little bro. You stay in your lane. Bro. What do you mean by that? You know what's up, uh, bro. We ain't doing no. We steady want to keep going with this shit. Lil Dirk's artist Chucky also continued to post, trolling Kwani and mentioning his op who goes by Skrilla in a snippet. You're watching all of our pages. You unfollowed us like a princess. Matter of fact, you unfollowed us like we gave a fudge. <laughs> On BD, put Shorty J up. I heard your rocking dead people's stuff. P.S. I've been in the studio. You've pissed the wrong crew off. Please suck on the top. Uh, rap on the top for Instagram. Catch rap for Philly and doing bad. Oh, no. Then he posted a breathtaking audio from DMs of him and one of Kwani's mans. Hey, yo, you young boy, bro, stop playing me. I still smell like gun smoke. What? I still smell like gun smoke. Oh, no. I see. That's what we not about to do. Police. <laughs> Jungle, bro, like, you hey, you feel like gun smoke, bro. After that, Chucky made a post to his Instagram of him and Kwani on the phone trying to work things out. For the caption, he wrote, This video is a week hey, old. Yeah, Just that? listen to him. He sounds Why shaky. He He's trying to make it like it's something with Philly versus Chicago. It's this ninja by himself calling, trying to get them savages off of his butt. Basically, I don't know, gang. I just, I just, I just call you. I just call you. I make sure, like, I'm not tripping, gang. Cause you know what I said. You feel me? I don't think I ever talked to him. I don't even know. I don't know what. Where you been? Cause that nigga cutting through that traffic, boy. I heard you was calling around looking for me. I said, bro, I called Chucky and I called Ben. Damn. Manage money as a family boy, with the Venmo team account the available for ages 13 though. to 17. Basically, I'm telling them, like, Sean, he called me. He don't want no trouble. You feel me? He said that I know you know Herb and I know you get in touch with his homies more, better than I can. I know if I reach out to them, they ain't going to work. I'm talking about or trying to hear what I'm talking about. So I want you to just tell them, like, whatever Novo did, please take that out for him. We don't, I don't want no trouble. You know I mean? That's basically what he was saying. And I just called the, called the related message. I don't call the dude he gave me to say, yo, I don't want no trouble. You know I, mean? I don't know. I, I don't know what, what, what makes this trouble. I don't know what you're thinking. I never even talked to bro about this. 
with you. I don't know what he's talking about, man. I just was making sure. I just was telling you to see if you remember the conversation we had. And all I remember is me telling you that it was scary. He don't want no trouble. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That was all. That's all that was said. I just was saying if you. I, I just was saying if you remember, though. That's all. I just, Kwani went to the comments and wrote, Put the whole conversation. Ninja, I told you it can be whatever ninjas want it to be. Did you all not hear me tell ninjas take it how they want? Who copped out? Chucky replied, Kwani, we heard a lot of female dogging, little bro. No Limit Mainski reposted it, saying, Oh, not y'all got him on camera scared as hell. Wow, we're not on that little bro. We're just gonna beat him. Me, After that, Kwani went live speaking on YBC Duel's recent passing and the situation with Chucky and Mainski. One thing, I'm about my money, yeah. Pull up at the corner store with the rape run. Have a go. Hold oh, y'all on. I'm outside. Come on, bro. I'm coming on live with the goofy. Yeah, we chilling. Leave the goofy at home, man. We chilling. I'm outside, gang. Feet on land. You feel me? Outside. Feet on land. You gonna never touch me or do nothing. You feel me? This is how I come in my city. This is how I come. You feel me? Man, that's how we push up. I do what I want in the city. You feel me? Okay. I'm gonna bring Brandon to the city, though, and show y'all how to really do the interview, like, and not die a day after. <laughs> That's how you know all that was bullshit. Like, it was lies, bro. Do an interview like that and die a day later, you shouldn't believe nothing he was saying, bro. And I don't have nothing to do with his death. Rest in peace. But all that cap and that's what that gets you. Wow, man. Uh... Damn. But yeah, though, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna bring Brandon to the city and really go through every hood, like every part of every hood. You feel me? And I'm gonna show y'all, like, this how you really do it, like, without dying. Come on, man. I promise you, I'm gonna do the interview and not die. You feel me? I'm gonna show you, like, how to walk around the city and really walk around. Like, I'm gonna show you, though. This how I get down. I'm gonna show y'all what it really look like to walk around. You feel me? On ice. I'm on South Street. You feel me? I just wanted to get some air, you feel me? Oh my god. I'm gonna get some food though, you feel me? Look at bro, so I drop. Come on, get up with me. I'll be here. I'll be right on South Street. I just wanna see I wanna see uh push up. Are you sure about that? But yeah though, I'm the biggest, like I said, all you get all my talking about you see where it took it, yeah, it took it straight to Instagram. Say he the biggest. That boy Kwani popping it. That boy Kwani popping it. Pizza, pizza. Walk in for all your favorites yeah. the season, so <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I like this beat. The Instagram, that was not gangster, bro. Anybody can do it. I'm just clearing up the, you feel me? I wasn't even gonna do this, but we gonna clear the air. Never copped out the no in my life. I told him, let's take it there. You feel me? We'll take it wherever you want to take it. We ain't never doing no comment. Wait, wait, we ain't doing no comment. You feel me? Never. Yeah. And another thing, like unsending the messages, bro. Y'all know, like, you feel me? Y'all know y'all unsend the messages. The streets know what's going on. Really know. You feel me? The streets know what's going on. Y'all unsend the messages. Y'all saying I'm about to shoot a video right here in the middle of the trenches. We shooting a video all night. When I be outside, I really be outside. And the show ain't get canceled, they got pushed back. Bad. You feel me? That's what <laughs> they tell me. He thought that was an art when he yeah, heard that yeah. yelling. We'll be out there. We'll be in Chicago soon. You feel me? The biggest in the city. 
He ain't gonna never touch me. You feel me? It's not happening. Yeah, I got shot. All right, whatever. I've been on. You feel me? It happens. But yeah, like I said, you ain't gonna never, ever, ever in your life touch me. Ever. Ever. Ever in your life. No, this ain't the trenches. This is Philly. I'm just letting you know. Like, you feel me? This is how I move around. I'm chilling. You feel me? I'm outside. Like, I'm really showing y'all where I'm at. I've been here for longer than 10 minutes or however long. You feel me? I really be outside. I ain't even proving nothing. I'm just showing y'all this is a regular day in life. Well, OT7 Keep going. That's amazing. But yeah, tap in next week. I'm going to bring Brandon to the city. I'm going to go to every part of the city. We coming to Haines Street. You feel me? We coming to Quilly Block. We're going to give away book bags. Feel me? Give away to the kids. We giving the back to school drive for the kids on Haines Street. And every other block that played on. We'll be up uptown. We're going to be in West Philly, South Philly, North Philly, everywhere. I promise you. Just make sure y'all tap in. And I'm going to bring Brandon to the city to show you how to really pop up. So, yeah, man. Let me know what y'all think about the situation down in the comments. That's, That's all I got. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Comment how y'all feel about this, man. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, man. Gang.